Hi everyone, welcome to Eden My Garden. Today we have a special edition for you. We are building a chicken coop. My chicken coop is getting too small for my chicken. So my husband is here, he's got the muscle. He's going to show you what material we need. All yours. All mine, well, we sourced a really good chicken coop, 96 inches by 55 inches it's pretty massive we staked out the ground where we're going to place it so you'll get to see that but it's all about getting the right base so that is critical always your foundation is the most important so what we've done to make it easy to clean because that's one of the big issues with chicken coops and chicken runs and we've got both we bought a flat pack system instead of hiring a carpenter and that can be expensive so um, the details of the website of the supplier is going to come up and you'll see exactly and they give great deals and they deliver all over the USA they offer a great deal I mean we got this for $499 it's a scoop it comes with all the timber all the fixings as long as you don't mind flat packs just get a screwdriver and a hammer a power driver and that's all you need and they and it comes with the chicken run as well as the chicken coop so we've measured up the base over here this is kind of like the size that we're going to fit the base and we've opted to use pavers because one of the great issues with chicken coops is the cleaning uh, who wants to clean all the gunk and the well let's just put it politely all the fecal chicken matter uh, who wants that so my wife has got a great idea of just hosing if we've got pavers just hosing the pavers down just put a power hose to it and it will just all wash away so what we've done is we've got paving sand you're going to need that to create about an inch of sub base using the paving sand and we're going to spirit level that and then on top of the sub base we bought these mats these are great for getting a nice level finish so these all they, these come as um, they interconnect on top of those mats then we put the pavers and so these are foot square pavers um, they'll cover the whole of the sub base and in between the pavers you want to sweep in some dry kiln sand and we've got a dry kiln sand that um, once you water it it goes rock hard so there's no risk of well there's less likelihood of weeds growing up in between the pavers you don't want that so this will create a nice smooth base for us to sort of power wash down every time the chicken run gets all filthy to hold it all together you really want a paving frame so you can buy these from Home Depot or Lowell's and they just interconnect all the way around the pavers and they're staked into the ground you lay your pavers inside and it keeps everything nice and tight because the last thing you want is making all that effort to get a nice smooth base and then it all comes apart over time this will hold it all together Oh, this is a lot of hard work so um, nice cup of coffee oh yeah what I've done is I've used the pavers to create the perimeter of um, the base so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to throw these um, paver sands these bags just empty them straight inside of this perimeter to about a level of an inch but I need to make them spirit level so once I put the sand down I'll get my spirit level out and then we'll start to get that all nice and level that's important we don't want a chicken coop and run that's going to be like the leaning tower of pizza right we want it nice and straight and solid that's good Congratulations, you just won wireless earpods for completing the survey. Uh, well, I haven't completed any survey, I don't know what they're talking about, so bye bye. Let's get to work.
so we had a problem in that the depth of the fall was higher than the depth of the paver frames so we've put two paver frames now this is a layman's attempt at correcting you know the fall of a property the other alternative would have been to put concrete edging and that's a lot of work so this is just a layman's quick attempt at solving the problem so you can see putting two one on top of each other well the bottom one has the sub base sand um, and then the top one is sitting just underneath these mats these paver mats and so what that's done is locked it's locking everything into place nothing is going to escape now it's not going to disintegrate start moving apart we're good to go and finish the base Well, there we go, we finished the base. It's about five foot by eight foot square. There it is right there. Not entirely spirit level, but that's okay. Because uh, as my wife washes all the gunk, all the droppings from the chickens on this paving slab, then uh, they'll just sort of wash into the flower bed behind. So there we go, we're almost built with this chicken. And this is great. Look at this chicken coop. It's where you're gonna get your eggs. And there's just like a little support there. So, you know, your both hands are free as you just grab all those luscious, lovely, yellow yolked eggs. And there's my wife. Darling, you wanna come and inspect what we've done so far? So excited. <laughs> That's why I come in the morning, I leave the little latch here and I keep my lovely eggs. <laughs> okay, she's excited. Voila, and we have a chicken coop. Eight foot long by five foot wide base. And this can fit about six to eight chickens. And it's gonna be awesome. My wife has eight chickens to place in here, inside this timber structure. And you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the eight people that were safe within another timber structure. That's Noah's Ark. And the ark typifies Jesus. He is our ark and he saves whoever runs to him. And he shelters them with salvation. He shelters them with protection. He shelters them with a covering by his blood to protect them from evil, from damnation, from condemnation and from the judgment of hell. And this is what this reminds me of actually, it reminds me of salvation. There we go, so my wife is left to bring her eight chickens where they will be safe in this coop. And if you haven't given your life to Jesus to be saved, to have your sins forgiven, to be washed by the blood, to enter into Jesus where you can be safe, you can find the safe space in Christ, then you can do that. You can do that right now. All you've got to do is say, Jesus, come into my heart, save me from my sins, cleanse me by your blood, protect me with your shelter, with your covering, so that I can enter into heaven. And that's the safest space of all, where you know that in the end of the day, when you breathe your last, you're going to find a place 
in God's everlasting kingdom. Amen. for my eggs. The only question is, do you want them scrambled? Do you want them poached? Do you want them sunny side up? Hmm, that's the question. Should have done here, though. Yes. You're taking away my pleasure. No. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Flex. Flex all your muscles. Yeah. Merchandise is available on our store. Come check it out at www.whatstore.org. That's w h a t store.org. What Music School is now open with the best prices on the market. We have online and in-person programs for all ages. Become the player you've always dreamed of. To claim your free lesson, call now on 617-830-1804. That's 617-830-1804. Or email school at whatmusic.org. To know more, visit whatstudios.org slash school or find us on social media at whatmusicschool.